Go mess it up. Head down. has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. For God has done what the law, weakened by the flesh, cannot do. By sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin, he condemned sin in the flesh. In order that the righteous requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh. But those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on the things of the Spirit. For to set their mind on the flesh is death, but to set their mind on the Spirit is life and peace. For God that has set on the flesh is hostile to God, for it does not submit to God's law. Indeed, it cannot. Those who are in the flesh cannot please God. You, however, are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit, if in fact the Spirit of God dwells in you. Anyone who does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. But if Christ is in you, although the body is dead because of sin, the Spirit is life because of righteousness. The spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you. He who raised Christ Jesus from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. So then, brothers, we are debtors not to the flesh to live according to the flesh. According to the live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. O most spirit of God, the sons of God, for if you do not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption as sons, a whom we cry, Abba, Father. The spirit itself bears witness with our spirit when we are children of God, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ, provided that we suffer with Him order that we may also be glorified with him. Yeah.